nice one, Goose. Thank you, Hex. Guys, the Worm series have been around since I was a little gosling. In fact, there's been almost 20 versions of the game since I first played it. Yeah, it's always been one of those couch multiplayer classics. And this latest edition, Worms WMD, offers more of that worm against worm turn based combat with a few new features such as weapon crafting and big vehicles. If you start the game solo, you can play through a series of tutorial levels first. These will teach you how to control your worms, how to aim their weapons, and how the new vehicles in the game work from a chopper to a stomping mech. It was weird picking this game up again. The controls and the level design feel kind of retro. Like the devs have never wanted to risk changing what worked 20 years ago. So they haven't, which is kind of a blessing and a curse, I think. Yeah, good maybe for the hardcore fans, but definitely not for newcomers. I thought it felt clunky. The same stick for moving your worm is used for aiming your weapon, which takes some getting used to. And if you clip even the tiniest pixel of the level when you shoot, you can blow yourself up by accident. I mean, that was so frustrating. Ah, yes, Hex, but that's classic worms. Calamitous mistakes make it a great game to spectate. Let's just put this happy little thing over there. At least for the opposing team. Mm. If you want to hone your skills before you take on human opponents, you can play through a single-player campaign against the AI. This makes each level a particular challenge of some kind, though generally the aim is to destroy all the worms on the other team using all sorts of weird weapons. I really didn't enjoy the game in single player though. The AI worms take so long to take their turn, and why? Is it trying to simulate how indecisive a real person is when they play? I mean, it just makes no sense. I hate having to wait ages for my turn. Yeah, I agree with that. Some of those turns took forever. But I did think the new crafting mechanic was quite a good addition to the game. You can choose to build a new gadget on one turn, and then that item will be ready to use on the next turn. As long as you don't bite the bullet before you get to use it. But it does add a nice new layer of tactics to the game. Mm. I think the passage of time has worked against the Worm series, as these days there are plentiful multiplayer games to choose from. Games like Rocket League, Smash Brothers, and whole genres like the MOBA have left us spoiled for choice. I'm struggling to process whether there's still a place for an ageing multiplayer concept like Worms. I think there is, Darren, but I just don't think this is my go-to choice. Worms does have a fun, silly sense of humour and some inventive weapons. And who knows, this might appeal to some spawnlings out there who want a more methodical turn-based multiplayer game. So I'm giving it three rubber chickens. Yeah, for me, Worms WMD just felt a bit flat, so I'm giving it two.